Hi, in this video we're going to be working with derivatives and we're going to be dealing with the power rule. So uh, this is the formula that you're going to use. So whenever you want to take the, the derivative of x to some power, this is how it's going to look. So I'm going to, let's, let's just jump right into it. So let's say you have x squared and you want to take the derivative of that. So in, when you want to take the derivative of this, you notice that you have the n here, right? And the n, you're just going to plug whatever you have here into the n into here. So let's do that. So taking the derivative of x squared, that's going to be equal to, and I'm just going to plug the numbers straight in there. So I'm going to put the 2 where the n is. I'm going to say x, and then I'm going to put the 2 minus 1. And after you work this out, the 2 minus 1 is pretty straightforward. You're just going to get 2 x to the first power, or you could just write it as 2x, and that's the derivative of that. So now let's do another one. Why don't we do x cubed? And if I'm going to do x cubed, it's I do the exact same thing all over again. So taking the derivative of x cubed, I'm again going to just replace the n with the 3. So if the equation is nx n minus 1. So I'm going to just replace the n with the 3, so it's going to be 3x, 3 minus 1, and then that's going to be equal to 3x squared. And that's the new function. If you take the derivative of x cubed, you're going to get 3x squared. Uh, let's do one more. Now what happens if I have x to the 1,000? And again, it's the same thing. Oh, by the way, this is another way to write derivative. If you don't want to write d over dx, you could just say, so the derivative, so you're going to put down this first, and that is the symbol for the derivative, just a slanted line. So that's another way to do it if you don't want to do all the writing for d over dx. So the derivative of 1,000, again, I'm using the same formula, the n times x raised to the n minus 1 power, so... I'm going to put the 1,000 down here. So you bring down the 1,000 right away. And you put the x again, and then just the 1,000 minus 1. So you're going to get 1,000x to the 999 power. And that's how you solve it. That is what the derivative of 1,000 is. Or not the derivative of x to the 1,000. So that's how you do that. Oh, you know what? Why don't we do a negative one? It's always good to do a negative. So let's say you have x to the negative 10 power. Okay, so if you have x to the negative 10 and you want to take the derivative of this, do the exact same thing again. Bring down the negative 10. Oh, not equal, sorry. And then you're going to put the x down. You have minus 10 minus 1. So this is going to be equal to negative 10 x to the negative 11th power. Um, and that's that's how you do that. So I'm going to make a few more of these. The, the next problems are going to be a bit more complicated. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the, this introductory video. And uh, check out the next video. I think you should like it. All right. Have a good day and good luck in your classes.